In today's show, we're going to talk about how to export a SharePoint online list off to an Excel file using PowerShell. And really, it's just a combination of a couple of our previous videos, so it should be a pretty fast topic. But first, here's our intro. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shane Young with Bold Zebras, those guys. And in today's show, we're going to look at how to export a SharePoint online list to Excel. Uh, we're going to do that with a v CSV file. We're going to do a hash table, uh, a little patterns and practices PowerShell, kind of mix up a couple of the previous videos into this one topic. And this video is kind of fun because it came from a viewer comment. So one of my previous videos, someone left a comment and said, hey, I need some to do X. I looked at it, and I don't know if it was the turkey hangover or the festive spirit from all my holiday decorations, but I was like, I can do that, and I can do that quick. So we set out to make the video. So let's just switch over to my desktop and check it out. The first thing we'll do is we'll open up the ISE. And so here you can see I have all of our code. I've kind of documented it. And part of the reason for that is if you look down in the description, you can get the uh, PS1 downloaded off one of my websites for free. And so then you have access to all this. You don't have to type it all back in. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a new list. And so we're going to use the PMP commandlets for that. So we'll grab this line and we'll run these three lines actually. And so we're going to create a new list called video. It's just a generic list. And then we're going to add a couple of fields to it. So we're going to add the uh, color field and then we're going to add the animal field. Why? Because those are just random things that I made up. And uh, I did show those in a previous video, which is linked below. If you're like, whoa, that's, you're going way too fast. Explain that. I've already done it, so we won't do it again. Now what we're going to do is add a bunch of content to our list. And so I'm going to do that with a for loop, right? For i equals 1, i less than or equal to 10, i plus plus. And then each one of those times, I'm going to add PMP list item to list video. And the values, I'm going to do a little splatting here, but title is my title plus i. So it will be my title 1, my title 2, my title 3, etc. Color, get random, whether it's blue or red, just so have a little variety. And then for the animal column, get a random animal, whether it's dog, cow, or zebra. And then we have to have the dash content type flag on here because that's part of making add PMP list item work. Once again, this was covered in the previous video. Um, so if you're new to this, you're like, whoa, don't worry, there's a video for that you can go watch. Okay, so let's run this and create our 10 items. Okay, so now we've done that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of some of the stuff we did in the hash table video. Um, so set my variables, right? I'm going to create a variable called dollar sign hash table, and I'm just going to set it to this so it makes it an empty collection. And then dollar sign items equals get PMP list item dash list video. So that's going to get all the list items, the 10 items we just created uh, for that list named video and put them into that items variable. So pretty straightforward, I think, also. So we'll execute that. Okay, and so those are in there. And so then now we need to build out the hash table. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to fill up the hash table with all the different uh, values from the SharePoint list so that we can then go and write that to Excel, right? This is kind of the whole premise of the video. And so to do that, we're going to say for each item and items, and there's a separate video on for each um, also. And there's lots of, like I said, this is an accumulation, accumulation of a lot of the pieces that we've done in previous videos. Um, but so for each item and items, hash table plus equals new object, PS objects, so we're creating a new PowerShell object, and then dash property is title, item field values title, so the current item, right, the current um, list item, get its uh, field value for title, put it in the title column, or title property, the color property, we're going to get the color uh, field value, and an animal property, right? So all we're doing is just grabbing those three properties from our SharePoint list, and writing them in individual rows into um, our little hash table there, because then we're gonna take that here in a second and write that off to a CSV. So we're just making one variable that's kind of got a duplicate of all of our SharePoint data in it. And so that's gonna run, right, in our case, 10 times, once uh, for each line. And so then we're going to create a CSV file. Well, I guess we should probably do this part first, huh? Can't skip steps. So let that run. So that put all the stuff in there, yay. Okay, so then create a CSV file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take dollar sign hash tail, right? And if you just type that in here, if you're just curious what's in there, there it is. It's just color, title, and animal. So there's one line for each one of the items we created and the appropriate values for them. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna say, take that, pipe it over to the select object and say select title, color, and animal, okay? 
And then once we've selected all that, we're going to export that to a CSV file named video CSV. And this dash no type information just means don't put any of the header, extra header information. We just want uh, what we're pushing over. So we can take and run that just like that. And so then now if we type in boom, 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 video CSV, open that up, that'll fire Excel for me. And there you go. I now have an Excel file with each of the items and the color and the animal. So all of the properties from the SharePoint list, right? If we went over here, refresh my browser, there's a list named video, right? The one we just created and there. You go. see my title one colors, blue animals, dog. If we look in Excel, my title one animal is dog colors, blue, same exact thing. Let's see if I can put those side by side. Uh, how about like that? And like that, right? And just in case you don't trust me, you wanted to verify them all yourself, you can hit pause right now and check and verify it. But so that pulled all of that information in and that's exactly what uh, the previous commenter wanted. He wanted to be able to take a SharePoint list and put it into a CSV file. So if that's all I want, there it is. But now that we've kind of showed you how to do it, let's talk about a couple of things and let's break down actually how I figured out how to do all that because this is not something I you know, had off the top of my head. I had to go write it this morning. So let's minimize this for the moment. Let's minimize this and clear our screen here. And let's talk about this. Okay, so the first thing I did, right, is I used uh, the PMP stuff. So if you get PMP list test, just run that, you'll see it's just going to say, oh, there's the test uh, list object. And actually, we want to do, we did video though for this, so we'll send you just a video. So we'll get the vid PMP list video. Boom. We run this again. So there's my list, right? Okay, and so then what I did was I piped that over to the get PMP field commandlet. So if we run that. And this is going to do, what this is going to do is going to return a name of all of the different fields that you have in that list. This is important because, well, it was real easy when I used uh, title, color, and animal, right? There was no spaces, there was no characters, there's no nothing. Um, it, you can end up with some weird different values, right? There's color, there's uh, animal, and titles right there. So we go back over to the browser real quick, and we said, oh, i create another column, create a single line of text column, and we'll name it hard I'll put space in there too right so you know we've got space in here we've got a punctuation mark a lot of complicated stuff that you can't just be like oh I know how that translates I mean maybe you do maybe you're smarter than me but so now that that's in there if we rerun this line we can scroll to the top and then scroll down so there's the hard question mark right? that's the field we just created and so you can see that that's the internal name so if you were going to use this field up here in our hash table, for example, you would have said, you know, um, good on this, right? Hard uh, that mark and then equals dollar sign item dot field values dot. And then you would put in this little guy, right? So copy and paste. And so then that's how you would have specified that much more complicated field inside of uh, your SharePoint list, right? I hate when people want to show you the real easy answer, so I want to make sure you understood the harder one. And if you're like, well, wait, how did you ever figure that out to begin with also? That's a fair question because I struggled for first how to figure out where these values were. So what I did is I went ahead and ran this line. So we'll say dollar sign items equals get PMP list item. So we'll run that again. Okay, that finished. We'll clear our screen. And so then I did something like this. I said for each dollar sign item, and right, it doesn't have to be dollar sign item. It could be dollar sign, um, what is it? It's Santa in items, right? So it's just putting each one of the um, objects that it gets out of there into a variable called Santa as it loops through uh, the list. And we explained that once again in the for each video I did previously. But so here we'll say dollar sign Santa Right, we'll just do this. Okay, you're like, whoa, that didn't do anything, right? That just spit out all of the things I could have gotten a much easier way. It did, but if you go down here now and you type in dollar sign Santa, you can now start using the uh, the tab complete. So Santa dot, and so I did. I said Santa dot, and I just started scrolling through here. And I was like, oh look, field values. Well, we call those fields in SharePoint. So I typed in field values, and then I did another dot. And then I scrolled through and I was like, 
Oh, look, there's that hard guy I talked about earlier. I hit enter on him. And so then there's no value in there. I couldn't put anything in there. But that was how I dug down and figured out what went into this spot right here. So once again, you know, it's just all about breaking it down into little problems. So I got one of the list items into an object. And then once that was populated, I could use the old uh, autocomplete functionality. So. All right, so I think that's all of the things I wanted to make sure you understood in this video. So hopefully you found that helpful and, uh, you know, it was a pretty fast little video for you. Remember, if I can ever help you, leave me a comment below. What type of videos are you looking for? I'm in the Christmas spirit or the holiday spirit, whatever holiday you celebrate. I'm in that mood right now. So leave comments on the types of videos you want to see. And if they're quick, easy ones like this, I'm happy to do them. If they're really complicated things, I might reach back out to you and say, you know, Bold Debris has to do like a consulting engagement. We've had some comments turn into those also, but throw it out there. What's the worst thing can do? Say, nope, too hard. All right. Well, hopefully that helped you and thanks. Have a great day. Me again. Hey, just a reminder, if you want to subscribe, click on my face over here, or if you want to work together or just need a friend, hit me up over here. Or if really what you wanted was more PowerShell videos, it's probably it. They are over here. All right. Thanks. See ya. Somebody stop the recording. <laughs>